What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Alan Mike. I'm back with another video, new video dropping every Monday and Thursday. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Check out my gaming channel. Brand new content coming every day. I'm streaming on Twitch every day. Three videos on the gaming channel a week. Podcast every Wednesday. <laughs> content everywhere. We're, we're, we're hustling up here in Sacktown. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking these questions from you. So comment below what topic answer, uh, what topic you want me to cover, or what questions you have for me and I'll cover them in the next video. This one is highly um, uh, debated and I, I don't know the science on it, but it's a conversation that popped up on 50% Facts um, with the one and only Jordan Shallow, muscle doc, power lifter, chiropractor. Uh, he calls himself a manual therapist or a manual um, healer, or he has some fancy term that I don't know about. But what we started to talk about is recovery and all these BS methods that are popping up on the internet. Check out 50% Facts for the real answers, but these are my thoughts on it. And what we started to talk about is all these people worrying about foam rolling and worrying about chiropractor and worrying about physical therapy and worrying about uh, stim machines and CBD and all these gimmick BS products that one, don't have a lot of science backing them, and two, how I've never heard this explained, I've understood the concept for so long, but I haven't been able to put it as simply as Jordan did, and he puts it much better on the podcast than me, but basically what he's saying is any external stimulus we're trying to give to our body, right, like, like a stim machine, like a foam roller, like a chiropractor, whatever it might be, even supplements in a way are external because yes, we do absorb some of them, but our GI tract is not necessarily within our body, right, that's what absorption is, to get it into the bloodstream and into the system on a cellular level rather than just passing through our body. Not here, neither here nor there, but um, opposed to internal stimulus, right? Something like walking, moving, what we eat on a regular basis long term because that is what we absorb. Um, the stimulus we give our body through exercise and making our muscles work or our blood flow, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The internal stimulus on recovery or effects on our body is so, the magnitude is so much higher, the effect is so much higher than all these external factors. So people are always talking about recovery and getting the edge, but they don't have their freaking basics covered. It, 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 I, it absolutely irks me to the max when people, all they talk about is recovery and how do you recover and even other uh, stimuluses that do have some science behind them, right? Like um, heat shock proteins and saunas, cold shock proteins and ice baths, how you apply them and the percentage that they'll actually help you on your recoverability compared to what you actually have to do to get your foundation set. And that the, the, the vast majority of people, even at the highest level, don't have their foundation set. And when I'm talking about foundation, it's nutrition long-term, right? It's our getting our macronutrients in and what allows you to fuel your body day in and day out and recover uh, with proteins. Um, two, it's your programming and actually balancing when to push, when to hold back, and how much stimulus you're giving your body on a regular basis. Uh, and then three uh, would be hydration, obviously staying regularly hydrated with water. Uh, and four is our normal sleep patterns. Getting enough sleep is one thing, but having regular sleep patterns patterns um, to allow our whole body to recover. And everyone's worried about their freaking CBD dosage, their freaking foam roller. But then on the other end, they're talking about being a great coach, a great lifter, uh, and being smart enough in this whole fitness thing. It's just so much BS to me. It starts to really piss me off. And I love talking to Jordan Shallow because one, one he's, he is wise himself as a chiropractor going through school. Two, he's a very good strength coach. Three, I think he looks at things like me. He's a little bit skeptic. Um, and then four, also like me, uh, and I, you know, these are little pats on the shoulder, is him and I have been exposed to a large amount of competitive athletes and strength coaches from many different walks of life and many different sports, and we take and question different things from different people, rather than someone just growing up in one flow or one system of training, recovery, thought, et cetera, and you get so stuck and dogmatic on, you know, carbs are the only fuel, no carbs are inflammation and fat's the only fuel. No, I'm a big foam roller ART guy. No, I'm a big acupuncture sleep guy. Whatever it might be, it's just so much BS. If we cover our regular bases, we're gonna be better off. And then, again, talking about the internal stimulus, uh, allowing us to recover better, blood flow, etc. going for a walk, going for a jog, um, even some stretching and stuff in your off days, those are gonna be more impact and the magnitude of the effects on your body are gonna be so much greater than any BS you're trying to throw from it the outside. Yes, there is some time to to apply, again, heat shock proteins and things uh, in smaller spurts 
when you're trying to really recover or kind of taper or peak. Um, there's also times for the, the, the heat shock, the cold shock, et cetera, like I said. There may be some applications of CBD, but anyone that's writing and telling you all these freaking studies about CBD is all BS. There's not a lot of real science. When I'm talking about science, I'm talking about controlled studies. People use the term studies and facts and all these things that aren't actually studies or facts. We, we are still waiting for, for a real expert in a lot of these categories. And it just irks me that, yes, everyone has agenda. Yes, I want to make money. Yes, I would love it if you bought my program, subscribed here, hung out on Twitch. It allows me to live the life I want. I'm not gonna lie to you that I don't wanna make money. Everyone wants to make money. But it allow, the, the people that bend their truth or bend the truth or bend the morals and what I believe to sell you things, gimmicks, products, supplements to make money. It just starting to really get on my nerves. And I want to get that off my chest, but the main talk is the recoverability, what helps long-term. And it really is just a balance of constant, uh, constant nutrition, what you need to get in your body to fuel towards your results, which may depend on what your goals are, uh, to, Programming, having a well thought out balanced program that takes you with progression day to day, week to week, month to month, and allows you to recover tons of water, tons of sleep. And that's what's really gonna propel you. It's not gonna be the latest gimmick sold to you on Instagram. Um, so shout out to Jordan. Check out 50% Facts if you wanna learn more. Basically what the conversation was with Jordan, we talked about a lot of cool things. We talked about cracking. What's cracking? Why are you cracking my spine? What's the point? Why do my knuckles crack? Why do my shoulder hurt? And why does it crack? Um, we talked a lot about things. What's a useless exercise? Why are some of these people preaching these exercises on the internet? Are they useless? Is there such thing as a useless exercise? Uh, and then we also dove into the topic of what is a physical therapist against what is a chiropractor? Why, why and when do you need to go to each and how do you find a good one? So check out 50% Facts. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Some of the episodes are, are 30 minutes, some are 60 minutes. Um, again, I appreciate you guys, all the support. New videos Monday and Thursday. Sound like I'm out.